Welcome back to Big Help the Nerd and today's episode of Blame It on the Youth. As today we take on Manchester United in the Premier League away and their first. And then we take on Aston Villa in the Carrow Cup fourth round because that was more exciting than Brentford at home, apparently. So that's all the two games we're going to bring you today. Since we last left you after the Southampton beat team, um, which, you know, hurt me a lot. It hurt me a lot, actually. We played Leicester in the Carabao Cup. We won on penalties. It was 2 2. They scored in the 94th minute. That was frustrating. Uh, but then we won the penalty shootout, which was great. It went on forever, but we won it, which was good. So we were through Nakaro Cup, hence playing Aston Villa today. Uh, and then we uh, played Liverpool. We got absolutely... Oh, no, that's a lie, sorry. I can't even read down the uh, screen. But Everton, we won 4-2. Fiat Arp and Milson Fernandez playing out of their skin. 4-2 win. Lovely job. We then got absolutely outclassed by Liverpool, but they were lucky. They scored in the fourth and fifth minute. They were like ping pong goals. Uh, Lalana's goal, Robertson's goal was ridiculous. Uh, he just literally thunderbolted it from the edge of the box. And Oxford's goal, obviously, and the own goal was was stupid. So, I mean, I feel like Liverpool are overpowered on this game, and they were cheating, and that's how they got their goals. We got two goals back, but yeah, just were not in the races at all. It was completely different. I've never seen a team like have all green. Like they were pretty much all playing at above seven. It was mental. We then played against just played against Burnley. We drew one all. Uh, you'll notice Mr. Philippe Anderson got a goal. One for the books. Uh, because we're playing him on the right-hand side. Because Yarmolenko's picked up an injury. We should have done more there. Should have won. We had a lot of chances. Martinez uh, had a few up front. And so did Arp. Uh, both could not finish them. Which is making me think maybe a striker is more needed than I thought. So, um, yes. Get your suggestions in for uh, January. Uh, if you look at the league table, we are sitting in 11th. Nine games, 13 points. Much better than last season. But still... Four wins, four losses. We can't seem to get that middle ground. Um, but we're playing United today, so I don't expect it to turn around. They've only lost one game. Oh, they're, they're better than Aston Villa. Brilliant. That's our next opponent. I didn't realise they'd come up, and they're also in the Premier League now. It's a little bit embarrassing. So this is the team. We've not changed much. I've put the wingbacks onto automatic. So when flicking the, uh, what's this thing called? The mentality of the team, that they will change the way they play. Uh, and hopefully that just helps me like, get a little bit more control in-game without having to jump in. Um, Lanzini has gone uh, and Obiang is on his way out as well. They're both moaning about not having any game time. So I decided to just sell them. Um, that seemed like the good thing to do. Other than that, I think we're all good. Clark, Clark's going to come back onto the bench. Um, he's not match fit, but honestly, the chances that Tony Martinez finished were just shocking. Uh, Fernandez is going to give a go. He didn't have a very good game last time. Uh, but I'm going to favour him over Wiltshire. After that, everyone was kind of okay. Just didn't score. We just need to finish our chances. Looking much better. Playing now on shorter passing rather than standard passing. Uh, it all seems to be coming together just very, very slowly. We've been told we're going to have to play out of our skin to deal with Akadi. They've got Forsberg behind him. Sanchez still playing. Suso on the left. Uh, oh, bloody hell. They've got Savage. He's the top goal scorer. And Pogba. That man's got a long shot. They've got Tierney at left back. Jones, Bailey, Darwin. Okay, it's quite a different team. 4-2-3-1. If they come and attack, though, we can deal with this. So let's go for an assertive. We've got nothing to lose here. Yeah, go for it. Why not? Let's go for a little assertive faith. Gotta have faith. And opposition instructions. Should we go in hard on these? All right. Ooh. Let's just mark up Akadi. Tight mark. Uh, tight mark Forsberg. Close down Suso. Close down Sanchez. Making sure we are closing down Savage because he's got a long old shot on him. And uh, Pogba, we're going to hard tackle because I feel like he's going to get pissy about it. So, I would make a slight favourites. No, I shouldn't have said that. That's a lie. Not at all. We are going to play for set pieces, try and steal something here. If Trincao comes forward, can we sneak something? Right at the very beginning. Seconds into the game. No. Fernando, oh, we've still got the ball though. Fernandez into Trincao. Again, touch inside. He's got time. Anderson. I tell you what, Anderson, even on the... There's something about the, them putting their foot on the ball before playing it. It just doesn't seem to work. And no one just puts a cross in first time. So there we are. Costina now. First real highlight. It looks like it's going our way. Anderson's got the ball out to Arp. He's got two men in the box. Can he get it to Fernandez? He's done Tierney. He's got Anderson. Oh, he's put a lovely ball inside. No one was there. 
Oh, Anderson actually played the ball I wanted, but the rest of the team didn't read it. Centel's on the ball now. Back to Oxford. Trincao. Come on. Look at this. Look at this. Little back heels from Noble there. Trincao. Four. Arp is finding space and getting behind the line. He's just not finishing his chances when he gets in front of goal. As Alexis Sanchez comes forward now. Sergi Savic. Suso on the ball. Oh, they've scored straight away. <laughs> we did all that. Had no shots. And they took one shot and scored. I feel like maybe the left back fell over them. Alexis Sanchez here. Comes inside. Goes to Sergi Savic. He lays it across. What happened? Yeah. Dives for it. Misses it. One shot, one goal. I mean, this is what we're fighting against. Pogba now on the ball. Can we give him a kick in? I told you to give him a kick in. Why aren't you listening? Damien. Back to Pogba. Long shot. Easy. Right, Anderson. Free kick. Oh, De Gea saved it inside the goal, I'm sure. Oh, my God. That gun have been closer to being in. Jesus. Fabianski here. Out to Diop. Gonna go wide. He's gone out to Anderson. I like it. Anderson, that was a crap ball. Anderson did last game. That's the first game we played him out there in the right since Yarmolenko got his uh, four-week injury. And he played well. So I wonder if that's just what I should have been doing the whole time is he just needs to play on the right-hand side. But we will see as the games go on because I'm expecting a big performance from him today. A Cardi shot blocked. Ping-ponged and Fabianski gets the save. I'm surprised he did though. That was impossible to read. I was giving a little demand more. No one's playing that well. Especially going forwards. Okay, we made it to half time. We've not really done much. The first 10 minutes looked good and that was it. Uh, just go for show me something else in the second half. Out you go. What can we do here to turn this around? They are going to keep attacking. Oh, Suzo's through. Oh, good save, good save. Right, let's go to Cautious. Because they're going to come and attack, aren't they? Let's try and get a sweet counter. Suso swings it in. Diop clears. Oh, headed on by Philip Anson. That was nice. We need, really, a set piece and Diop to get on the end of it. No, nope, not give away set pieces. Have them ourselves. Ah, oh, Eric Bailey's headed it against the bar and it's gone in. How comes he can head it off the bar and it goes in? I head it off the post and it comes out. Bullshit. Suso swings in. Bailey gets up. Oh, hits the bar, comes down and goes in. Where is the luck, football manager? Where is the luck? Diop on the ball now. Finds Anderson. Lay it back. Uh, you're always going forward, wasting it. Go home. Use your bloody wing back. Pogba now. Damien out to Suso. Forsberg. Sergi Savic. Oh, my God. They're dominating. They're just... See, sometimes I feel like... When we turned it around in the Liverpool game, we were absolutely getting dominated. But we turned it around when we went to positive. Just started attacking. But maybe... Maybe we just go to attacking. Positive, at least. We're sitting back and just let them attack us now. No one's playing well. Suso now with a free kick. Goes short to Icardi. God, Suso's there again. Oh, good slide. No, Forsberg heads over. Jesus. Right, we don't need to make my, I need to make some subs. We've got possession. We're just not doing anything with it. Get rid of... Right, Wiltshire can come on. And so can Tonali. We'll change up the midfield. See if we can get a bit more... Um, some, some more flair out of them. And then do we go for Cessna on a right, left back? Or do we put Clark in and see what he can do? He's tired, though. Correa's not really a winger. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Let's leave it for now. Let's leave it for now and see who improves and who doesn't. Those changes, hopefully, will lead to some people performing better and some not. Lukaku's been brought on. That's just what we wanted to see. Right, let's go for a demand more. Focused. I like it. Here we go. Corner. Diop. Ah, oh, Diop. It's the one thing you're good at. It's bloody heading it in and you've let Pogba beat you. Now Suso's in on his own. One on one. Great save, Fabianski. Ooh, great save. Frostina. Short throw. Back to Fabs. Nicely done. Keep the ball. I mean, we've had... This is exactly like the damn Liverpool game. We've had bugger all. Can we come in late, though? One goal late on. I'll put them on the back foot. There we go. Arp's in. Yes, he's in. He's one on one. Oh, he can't finish his bloody dinner. Right, that maybe is the sign that he needs to come off, right? He's not... Ugh, I just need someone to put those away. That's all three subs, isn't it? Yeah, it's all three subs. 
All right, we'll give him a shout. Oh, there we go. I can't give him a shout yet. I've already done one, apparently. Oh, let's go for a push forward. Oh, I've frustrated him now. Damn. I feel like this one might not be ours. Anderson swings the ball in, though. Back post is there. No one else is going for it. Where are you all, Clark? Get back in the box, Clark. You're the striker, goddammit. He's been brought down. Tonali goes for the long shot. Doesn't come to anything. Oxford's... Why is Oxford out wide? Bloody hell. That didn't work, did it? That was absolute shambles. Trinkau flicks on. No one's there. Oh, God. No, this was not our game. There's a reason they've only lost one game so far. It's their ability to finish. Although they've had 20 shots, only five on target. It's not that great. Not that great at all. Oh, God, don't let him score again. Good. Clearance. Clark, hold it up. Mm. Drink house. Ah. How do we hold up the ball more? I've got you on running more, but you don't seem to hold it up. Oh, my God. Anderson's gone down like a sack of shit. And now Sanchez is away. Can you close him out? Don't let him get around you. Oh, Fabianski has kept us in this. I mean, 2-0 is, is flattering on us. Costina, inside the rice. Come on. Let's get one goal at least. For just, just to make me feel like it wasn't that bad. Wilshire! Oh, he's put it over. I thought that was the goal. I thought that was it. I got excited. All right, here we go. Last ditch. This is it. Just blow the whistle. Oh, bloody hell. Tinny is kicking seven shades of shit out of Anderson at the moment. Tonali. Late inside. Oh, he's gone for the shot. Well, we had three shots on target. That was nice. Uh, to get some the least registered shots. We had possession for the game as well. Just couldn't create enough. We've lost two nil here. Definitely deserved to. But we kept Bacardi quiet. That was good. Um, I'm still going to go and far from pleased because it was still a crap performance. So now we have a three-day gap until the Aston Villa game, which is a Canberra Cup game. So we're going to play a slightly rotated team, get some of those youngsters in. But I'll see you back for that. Hey, we are back for the Aston Villa game. We are away. We are going to play a slightly rotated team, get some of those youngsters in, get a bit of rotation going. As it's only three days. And of course, it's the Carabao Cup. So I feel like we can a little bit, you know, play around, see if anyone can impress in these off games. So let's get in and see if we can progress any further in this cup. Last year, we did quite well. So we are going with Fabianski in goal. Masuaku, Matos, Diop and Byram as the back four. Tonali, Wiltshire in commentary as a midfield three. Sussignon on the left. And Anderson on the right. And Clark up top. That was harder to say than it needed to be. Uh, Aston Villa going with a very similar formation. Uh, who have they got in there? Anyone worth worrying about? Mm, no, not really. So let's see how we get on here then. Uh, Common lads trim what we can do. I'm expecting to see a much better performance. There we go. That's what I want. Get out there. Playing in the blue. The lovely yellow socks on. Let's go and build these, these claret fakes, as I like to call them. We have the true claret and blue. Anderson now. Again, can't put... Why they get to that byline and just struggle to put a ball in? I don't know. I'm starting to feel like I just put... Oh, I wish it was a shot. Just put cross early on. Or cross from deep or wherever it is. Because that way, at least they wouldn't get into that corner and get stuck. Anderson now finds Clark. Oh, he had some space. He's hit a defender, though. Mendy's coming forward. We've got, we've got him marked up. That was easy. Oh, 12 minutes in. First real highlight. Big clearance. Right, let's get this back. Masuaku heads back to Barnes for no reason. What a mate. Commentary heads on. That was nice. Took it away from the Aston Villa midfield there. But Mario Rui is coming forward. Can we close him out? We can. Byron straight in. Keeps the ball. Lovely job. Doesn't pass it to his own team, though. Which is kind of uh, frustrating considering you're on short passing. Are you not? Are you on short passing? You are. So why are you doing that? Mario Rui puts inside Pali. Should have scored there. Fabianski with a save. All right, can we attack now, please? This would be nice. Cessignon outside. Masuaku put it in. He put it in. No one's there. Why is no one jumping for the ball? And then Colin Coventry ran away from it. Oh, my God. I mean, you definitely saw what happened there, right? We're 1-0 down, but our player just uh, phase-jumped, just teleported. Connor Coventry here, God knows what he's doing, didn't run for the ball. And then, wait, and chow. Yep. Yep. Well done, football manager. Well done. Great game. Match engine is not broken. I mean, what has even happened there? Because I understand when it, the animations look weird, but why did, like, in what... 
In what world would you teleport as a football player? It doesn't make any sense. Just coming into half time. We're not having a good time at all here. This is being dominated by Aston Villa, which is kind of uh, shameful. Mario Rui again out on this side. Barnes there. Oh, we've scored our own goal. Brilliant game. Well done. Well done. Absolutely fantastic. Scoring our goals for fun now. Oh, not annoying at all. Not broken. Not broken in any way. Right, let's put the opposition instructions on. Deal with the fact that it's a Diop just chested it into his own net. So they've had two shots on target, scored two goals. And we've had uh, two shots on target, target, scored none. Because this game is stupid. So we headed it down, Diop, yep. A chest better than my strikers can head. So we've gone in uh, a 2-0 at half time. 2-0 down at half time. So I'm pretty much aggressively going to shout at them and send them back out. Because uh, not much else I can really do here. I'm going to I'm gonna go positive. Because uh, this is kind of embarrassing. Huslager is running right on the on the wing there. We've we actually played better. We've got more possession and more shots. We've had the same amount of shots on target. They've just got jammy with a stupid phasing of defenders. And then a pissing own goal. El Mohamedi here, right. Great, that's better. We got the ball back. Now can we do something with it? Well done, Fabs. Out to Byram. So much space. How did that not carry on as some sort of highlight? I don't believe it. Masuaku into Coventry. Finds Wiltshire. Someone finds some space. Come on. He's got space now. He's going all the way out to Byram. Interesting, but this could work. Ball to the back post. Yes. Ah, oh, two of our guys are there. And it managed to go to their defender. Masuaku now. Another chance. No, he's at the first defender. Bellend. Sessignon, someone, no, Tonali, anyone, you want to wanna get it in the box? No, oh, okay, just give it to them again, brilliant, brilliant. Byron, your shit, bye. Clark, your shit, bye. Right, sub's made, want to win? What the hell do we do here? Shouts, push forward, do something, attack it. Oh, Costina, what a run that was. Put, put a ball in. Oh, he's gone back there. That doesn't work when we go back to the edge of the box. Look, because then this little dickhead gets it and runs off of it. Ah, oh, good slide. But we've given away possession again. Oh, no. Well, I mean, we're, we're going to probably go out of the cup. Um, this was a hot, well, definitely a winnable game. Uh, we just don't know what we're doing. So, like, get it down on the floor, Anderson. There we go, Christina. Anderson again. Boom. Cuts inside. Find some space. Oh, my God. Philippe Anderson just got a beautiful goal with his left foot to make it 2-1. Is he going to lead us here? Look at this. He'd give a little little layoff to Costina. It was like, give it back. Boom. Inside. Off he goes. All along, Anderson just needed to be played as an inside forward on the right. Who'd have thunk it? Right. Can we go again? Can we, look, let's do a praise for just doing a goal. I'm praising you for doing a goal. Think good, feel good thoughts, uh, and then go and do another one of those goals. Sessignon can't pass. There we go. Try again. Try again. Right, run a bit faster this time. There we go. Up. Oh, he's headed over. Oh, and the ball by Sessignon was actually not bad after I laughed at him. Oh, I was there. That was close. You gonna run again? You gonna run again? Right, Barnes into Bjarnson. Out to Huslager again. He's got the ball again. Man's unstoppable. Oh, good. Saved by Fabianski there. Pali was in. One on one. He's missed like from two yards out. It's ridiculous. Come on. Win this. Win this corner. Out it goes. Mm. Close. Close him down. Come on. Yes, Essignon. Straight in. Nah, that was never a foul. Ah, piss off, ref. They're really turning the screw here. I'm going to go attack him. We're pushing for this now. They're pushing those wingbacks on. Go for it, Masaku. On your bike, son. Sessignon. Oh, Arps on his own. He's one on one. He still can't do it. He just needs to learn to score those. Oh. Corner now, Masaku. Back post. No, we went front post. Wiltshire. Come on, give him another go. There's like five of them in the box. Tanali, turn out. You're too slow. Take the first shot. Sessignon now. Lay inside. And again, quite like one touch football. One touch. You keep pushing out wide and it's just not doing anything. You're not putting the ball in quick enough. Corner now. This is our chance. Get up. Someone. Diop. Oh, he's had it over again. Come on. 
Push forward. Connor Commentary is absolutely shagged. Let's bring him off. Bring on Noble as the DLP. Let's bring on Noble as the DLP. See if he can... Mr. West Ham can drag us out of this. Save us here. Another corner. Noble swings it in. It gets cleared. What was that? A penalty? Is it a penalty? <laughs> yes, and we've just put on our top penalty scorer, Mr. Mark Noble. Who's missed? What a bell end. Oh, no. There was a VAR decision. We got a penalty, and the player just brought on to save us missed the penalty. That's annoying. Now he's going to play shit as well because he's uh, missed the penalty. Oh, Anderson. Anderson. Oh, he dragged it wide. Oh, he could have just held it on a little bit longer and played it to the back post. Why? Look how many chances we're having. I'm liking this attacking. We should have played on attacking more. Right, Wiltshire. Out. Get it, Masuaku. Put it in. He's there, Anderson. He's had it over. He's had it over again. Come on. Just head it down. Someone head it down. You're playing an 8.3. Surely that must help these ratings. This is it. Last chance. Noble swings in. Nah. You shit out there, boys. Noble, you let me down there, son. If I hadn't brought you on, maybe someone would have scored that penalty. Pen! Ref! Come on, you got 10 seconds. Get it in the box. Get it in the box. Sessignon finds Tonali. Oh, it's gone backwards. Don't. Ah, oh, he's blown it. Fucking hell. Well, that was a waste. 18 shots, only four on target. Played terribly. Aggressive, not happy. Not happy at all. Damn. So we're out the Carabao Cup. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed because of the penalty miss and the own goal and the whole the whole way that that game just worked. That game was just messy. From start to finish, it was just messy. We weren't unlucky. And we weren't unlucky. The game cheated us, essentially. But Anderson did get a man of the match. So, well done, Anderson. You're starting to play football like an actual football player. But we will leave that there. Uh, we will probably not come back and... Oh, good. I'll either give it a long run or I'll come back, you know, for some of these fun games in the middle. But I will make that decision and you will find out in the next episode. But we will leave it there. If you have enjoyed, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you back next time for some more Blame It On The Youth action. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.